Hey guys, welcome back. It is Trix Kills here, and we are uh, doing another apartment build. Um, so I had this idea recently. I've been trying to create more stories while building so I can personalize these builds and create like basically a better apartment and a better feel for the apartment. So what I have decided was, hmm, maybe I could have a family, like let's say two grandparents and their grandson that comes in every weekend or so often uh, because maybe the parents work too much or they, they have other things to attend. So he's basically here every weekend um, living with his grandparents and he has like a separate like guest room that is kind of converted into his room. So the feel for his room, I didn't want it to make it feel like, oh yeah, this is a complete boy's room, it's his. It, you know, like you could basically grab all of his things in a box and then, you know. So I do this thing every month and I'm, I'm hoping that some of my viewers kind of get the pattern. I do take a week off like I'll work every single day for like the whole month but I'll choose a week within that month that I still post on YouTube and Instagram and everything but I literally take a week off for like some you know replenishment reasons to getting myself organized cleaning up primarily focusing on my well-being and self-care because you know I keep preaching it it is very important Everybody can work hard every single day, but they at least need one day out of the week or so to kind of keep like a fresh mind, you know? So it just it just makes sense. Anyways, with this build, um, as you can see, I've already mapped out where I want things to be. I want the kitchen to be a little bit small. Uh, so I have enough room for a small dining room or dining area and then a living room where the family can kind of meet. I did keep the um, dining room area small because it literally is just two grandparents living there full time while they do have their grandson living there part time. He's not always gonna be there. He generally doesn't want to eat at the dining table. He'd either wanna eat by his computer or in the living room to watch TV. My idea for like the apartment is like that this apartment was built somewhere in the mid 60s. Um, so things are freshly furnished, but the house still creaks kind of thing, or like the pipes are still running. So that's kind of like the vibe that I was kind of going for. Um, I wanted the kitchen cluttered, um, but not too busy because there's literally just two grandparents, uh, basically a retired couple that lives here. Um, I did want to make one of the grandparents a little bit more busier than the other. I always like to make like two opposites kind of together because like, you know, opposites attract. So one of the grandparents, well, both of them actually are, are retired tired but one of them still volunteers and it could be at like your local um city hall or it could be at a church or something and the other one is an avid reader just likes to open books of any like nature fiction non-fiction sci-fi fantasy whatever it is he will he or she will read it basically interested in like the knowledge of the world and i think that's kind of cool anyways with the dining room or the dining area and the living room i wanted to make it very quaint uh this apartment isn't big so they don't got a lot of space. Um, they also don't really believe in like electronics. Uh, the only electronics that you'll see, I think is in the grandson's room and basically the living room with the box TV. I think it's super cute. It kind of fits the theme. Um, I also wanted it to be a little bit cozy. Uh, so I, hopefully, you know, I did that. But yeah, anyway, um, this apartment actually comes with two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and one of the bathrooms is connected to the master bedroom. So I guess it's like an ensuite bathroom and then an office space and basically a living room, a dining room, and a kitchen. I was very surprised that I could fit all of that into this. So I was very happy with how this build went. It's very cozy, uh, very functional, which is good. And basically a good area for you to, you know, learn a couple traits. I imagine that the office um, has a lot of books that the grandparents don't wanna let go, a lot of files, a lot of memories, even a lot of picture books. I feel like people like before, like 2000s, before Facebook even was invented, people like to collect things in physical books. So like they would like, my mother would dry out like old flower petals that were given to her, old memories like photographs and just random stuff. I think that was kind of interesting. And that's kind of what I imagine in this apartment space. Um, just a lot of good times and like a good history that you kind of want to carry on with you and show like your grandkids or just like other relatives. So it's really nice. Anyways, um, with the grandson's room, like I said, I didn't want it to make like an official bedroom for this uh this child so like there's just a couple things like necessities that you need obviously in a bedroom um but it doesn't really have enough personality like there's a couple clutter items for when he needs certain things like 
I don't know, shampoo, conditioner, lotion that if he needs, um, and basically his textbooks, his notebooks, and then possibly his laptop, and that's basically it. A couple like outdoor items, like if he's really into sports, um, I, I believe outside of this apartment, there's a basketball court, so maybe he would like to go there every now and then. That, yeah, but basically that's what kind of I kind of imagine. I was also thinking, let's say if the grandson is old enough and he doesn't want to show up every weekend, he wants to go to university and like live on a dorm or something, or in a dorm, sorry, then the grandparents could actually have family and relatives that come in and out of this room or even like roommates I don't know if grandparents like roommates do grandparents even like ask for roommates anyways like yeah I didn't want the room to seem very kiddish I wanted to seem like yeah he's kind of growing he's he's in his adolescence basically so maybe he's about like 15 to 17 like he's still a, a child at heart but he's at that moment where he kind of wants that his own independence um that's kind of my feel for that um for the entrance way I kept it fairly simple a couple of knickknacks here and there a shoe rack and then an umbrella rack the necessities basically and then I finished this room by basically coloring it I kept with the same pinstripes and then a I think I put like a, a half oval rug at the bottom of it I don't know what that's called honestly but yeah with the grandparents room I wanted it very bright um, I kept with the theme of yellow and kind of like a beige or like a, a bright wood color um, I think it really accents the room very well I really tried to put uh, their personality into this room so on the left side the avid reader or the scholar that I would like to assume and the other side just kind of is along for the ride enjoying how how things are and basically a ride or die so it's kind of awesome um and then I kind of put a little bit clutter items on certain areas to make the room a lot more livable or lived in and then just basic necessities for the bedroom. And to finish this bedroom I put a white drawer there uh just to kind of accent the bedroom a little bit better and then a chair on the corner off to the side with some laundry. The bathroom or the ensuite bathroom is kind of the same as the uh, bathroom near the living room. Um, I really like the bathtubs that I used. It kind of reminds me of like this old type of tacky uh, bathtub. I don't know if that's a good positive thing but I really like using these bathtubs when I build older homes. It just kind of fits the room right, fits the air right. Uh, yeah. But anyways, that is basically the build. Um, I'm going to finish the furnishings with a toilet paper roll and I think a bathroom cabinet and a couple other bathroom items. Um, but if you were new to this channel and you enjoyed my little rendition of um, the grandparents apartment with their grandson, please remember to give this video a like. You can even comment if you're not shy. And if you would love to, uh, subscribing would be amazing. It would help me more than anything. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. I post every two days. But yeah, um, please remember to stay hydrated and practice self-care and i'll see you guys on the next one bye-bye